What's going on guys, Unknown Player here and today we're going to take a look at all of the exotic armour pieces coming to Destiny in the Taken King expansion. So all of the exotic armour pieces and their perks and details have been loaded onto the Bungie on their website. We're going to take a look at all the brand new exotic armour pieces and their brand new perks in this video. If you want to see all of the exotic weapons in the Taken King, I've made a separate video about that and I'll put that in the description for you to check out and also link it on the screen for you to watch. But that video is already up on my channel, make sure you go check it out to see all of the weapons but in this video we're going to take a look at all of the armor pieces there's a ton of them to go over and they've got some really really cool perks so as always if you enjoy the video make sure to drop a like rating and let's actually jump into them so we're going to take a look at all the important perks of course all the armor pieces have one special perk which is unique and all the others aren't too noteworthy so we're just going to focus on that one important exotic perk the first one we've got here is for the hunter this is a helmet it's called the Tychonaut and it's based off a Chinese astronaut from the golden age its perk is air traffic control all rocket launchers gain tracking and radar remains visible while zooming with heavy weapons and your heavy ammo drops will increase when using a rocket launcher so those are some really really insane perks all your rocket launchers will gain tracking when using that helmet that is completely insane so you can have some really good builds with this helmet combined you've also got basically third eye for your lmgs and also rocket launchers and when you're holding a rocket you're going to get more heavy ammo so that is a really really crazy combination of perks right there then we've got the second exotic helmet for the hunter and this is called the graviton forfeit its perk is Elusive Shadow, unlocks the Night Stalker subclass node Shade Set for free. So that allows you to double up with a different perk and basically have a little bit more perks in your skill tree. So that's pretty cool. And also it's got a really nice looking at front of the helmet. It's got this like void energy coming out of the mask. So definitely one of the best looking helmets. Next up is the Astrocyte Verse. And this perk allows you to reduce your blink cooldown and increase your travel distance. So this could possibly be one of the most frustrating helmets in the game because it allows you to almost blink how you used to be able to before it got patched and nerfed very heavily in the 2.0 update. So you'll be able to blink a little bit more and also blink a little bit further. Your travel distance will be increased. So I don't see it as too much of a useful helmet, but if someone's using it, it could be quite frustrating to come against. But I don't think it's that useful. I think there are definitely some better exotics in the game for Warlocks. So not sure whether it will be too prevalent, but it's definitely a controversial one, I think. Uh, next up, we've got the Stag, which is very cool looking, kind of similar to the Ram. And this allows you to, once per life, have your supercharge really fast when your teammates are all dead and also have a chance to respawn with Nova Shield. So possibly in Trials of Osiris or Skirmish, that could work out very well. And of course, this definitely has style points for its looks. It's got this giant like dead stag skull on its head and it's just a very, very weird and creepy helmet in general. Next up, the Titan helmets, we've got the Imperium Bellicos. This allows you to aim your weapon in the air for a short time and it'll actually hold you there. And also orbs collected while your super is full will recharge your melee ability. It seems like a decent helmet, nothing amazing, but nothing awful either. Then we have the Skyburners Annex. This allows you to have your heavy weapon kills and have a chance to generate orbs. And also orbs that you collect when your super is full have a chance to generate special ammo for you. So nothing amazing. I think it could possibly be useful if you run out of special ammo in the PvE aspect and the someone has a bunch of orbs. You could possibly get some use for it. But all in all, it doesn't seem like a great helmet. It looks very cool, but the perks don't seem that amazing. Then it's the Gauntlets. We've got the Sealed Ahamkara Grasp. These are for the Hunter and they allow you to gain an additional melee charge and also melee damage is a chance to automatically reload your primary weapon so pretty cool gauntlets right there especially the extra melee charge very similar to the claws of ahamkara for the warlock of course next up we've got shinobu's vow and these look very very powerful improved skip grenade and that's the grenade in case you didn't know for the blade dancer that basically like follows you you throw it down and it has the little bits that come off that follow you and they track you to wherever you go and you also get an additional skip grenade charge so not only do you get two skip grenades but they'll also basically be improved so that looks like a very very powerful set of gauntlets definitely one of the better ones for the hunter right there next up we've got the impossible machines which we've seen a couple times in promotional materials we've seen them on warlocks they've got like lightning flowing around them and they're basically like the uh, arc version of the sunbreakers for the warlock so they definitely look very cool their perk is called lightning rod allows you to unlock the storm quarter subclass node landfall for free so again you can double up on a different perk and it's casting a storm chance fires a bolt of lightning underneath you so you can basically uh, do a bit of damage to enemies that are underneath you when you actually call in your super and act Activate your storm chance. So, next one is the Ophidian aspect. This is again for the Warlock. This allows you to have improved siphon, and that's of course going to be for your Void Walker siphon abilities. And also, your weapons are ready and reloads very quickly. So, that sounds very, very cool and can be more handy in Crucible of course as opposed to pve next up for the titans and gauntlets we have the immolation fist these allow you to unbreak the sunbreaker node explosive pyre for free of course again that allows you to double up on a different perk 
enemies brought down by your hammer are going to explode and chain fiery solar damage to other enemies nearby. So that's of course for the Sunbreaker Titan. Next up we have some really insane looking gauntlets. These are called the Thagomizers and these basically allow you to have your Fist of Havoc kills recharge your melee and your melee recharge your Fist of Havoc and also gain an additional melee charge. So the melee charge is definitely the most important factor in that sense and that's definitely going to be quite good for the Titans. Next up we have the ATS-8 Tarantella or Tarantula. I think these are probably the most insane exotic armor we've got so far in the Taken King and their perk allows you to take reduced arc damage from minions of the darkness that's pve and also your arc grenades and arc blades recharge faster i think the really crazy thing is that you could take this into a nightfall where there's arc burn and you will take less arc damage i think that's really really crazy we've never seen perks like that in destiny before i think that's a really really insane set of armor definitely going to want to try that out in arc burn and see how it kind of protects you the warlock chess piece is called the alchemist raiment these are pretty awful to be honest you have a chance to gain glimmer from primary ammo pickups and orbs collected when your super is filled charge your grenades and melee so nothing amazing there i don't think that's at all worth an exotic slot and the chest piece for the titan is called the twilight garrison this allows you to press a button while airborne and do an evade which sounds pretty crazy that's almost like a blink or like an evade that the night stalker subclass can do so we're gonna have to see how that works the titan can actually teleport and evade you slightly in midair that's gonna be really cool to see and then into the boots we have the frost ee5 these are for the hunter and they allow you to have a tighter turn radius while sprinting an increased grenade and melee regeneration while sprinting so definitely going to revolve around mobility and being fast and it's pretty interesting because destiny normally has a quite a slow uh, turn radius and like turning speed when you're sprinting that's something you notice about destiny compared to other first person shooter games and that's actually been reduced with this so that's going to make it a lot more responsive and you're going to be a lot more kind of like agile when you're sprinting and ready to have more gunfights so definitely looking forward to trying that one out next up we have the first ever set of exotic boots for the warlock in case you didn't know warlocks have never had exotic boots in destiny but this is the first ever set they called the transversive step and they allow you to gain faster movement speed while crouching and picking up ammo automatically reloads the weapon of that matching types ammo so that's a really insane perk i think that could definitely come in handy for pve and in certain situations so looking forward to see how that perk works you literally reload any weapon of the type that you just picked up really want to see how that perk actually plays in the game and finally we have the june marchers these are probably my favorite exotics for the titan these allow you to have the perk speed demon increase sprint speed extended slide distance increased movement speed while you're aiming your weapon and tighter turn radius while sprinting so all around mobility this basically allows you to be really really fast and do a lot of agile things in crucible this is going to be a very very good set of boots probably one of the best for the titan i would say and i definitely definitely want to get my hands on these so hopefully you guys have enjoyed this look at the exotic armor in destiny the taken king let me know in the comment section which of these is your favorite and which do you want to get your hands on which kind of sticks out to you the most as one of your most favorite so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video if you did and found it informational drop a like rating and i'll see you guys in the next video